Hello. I'm going to show how to install uh, Anaconda Navigator on POP from, an inst from a bash install script and then launch it from the terminal, okay? So, go to the um, anaconda.com start page, click the download button, that'll download a, a bash install script to your, to your download folder, okay? And then once it's downloaded, you can go to your download folder and look for it to verify you have it. There it is right there, anaconda.shell. And then I did a whatchamacallit just to see if uh, an a, a ls-l. And I know it's a shell I know it's a shell script, and it didn't have the proper uh, execute permission, so I did a chamod. And I gave it, I just did 777 for everything, just to be, just for, you know, just to, just to get it done. Because I don't have to worry about security here. So I made it executable like that. And then, you know, you, you check it like that. Okay, so it wasn't executable to begin with. Nobody had to execute permission, so I had to give it to, to that file, okay? Okay, then, I'm, then I was able to run it. And they just do a, a strict, a straight run like this. You just execute that that bash shell install script, and then you can just uh, you know spacebar all the way down, and for the license, and then you can just uh, just type in yes there. Sometimes this default location will go to root. And I didn't want to do, I did root and it didn't work. I mean, it worked, but I don't, you don't want it in root. You want it in your home folder. Home Paul and kind of, that's the, that, that's the path you want, okay? Now, I've already got it there, but I'll do it again. So then, I like the path there. And, of course, it already exists. Home Paul Anaconda, okay. So, we'll clear this. And we'll clear everything up. And then, just to verify it, you can just do a witch anaconda. Okay, there's the path. So we're going to CD into that path, Anaconda 3, bin, okay? Now, you, I, I know about Anaconda, and I know I was looking for something called Navigator. So I did an LS on, well, hold on, hold on. Hold on here. Uh, here we go. Let's, let's try this, okay? And we'll do an A. Now, I was looking for, and there's a lot of stuff in here, I get confused, but I know I was looking for Navigator. So I know, okay, so I, it wasn't in the end, so I, it's Anaconda Navigator. Okay, I found, I found something that's got something to do with Navigator, okay? So I, got, I had something to work with, okay? So I was just curious as to what, first of all, you know, let's check and see if, if we had to do any kind of uh, permissions on it. This is the way it came out. This is the way it came. It already had uh, execute permissions for, for, for everybody. So chamads weren't necessary here. And I was curious as to what kind of file it was. So I did file. And I passed in the... I passed in that navigator file. And it's a Python script. Okay, so... That was it. All I, and all I had to do was just go ahead and... Um, and just execute that pre-compiled, just, just run that Python program, Python script. Just like that, regular, regular launch command. And then hit enter on that. And there was a couple of errors, but it didn't really fault. It still launched. Yeah, I got some stuff here. Mesa, I'd, I'd have to look all that up to see exactly. But it didn't really... It didn't crash, so I guess we're okay. I didn't really, I mean, I, I launched it. I didn't really use everything, so I don't know if it'll work, ultimately under load and everything. But the bottom line is I was able to launch Navigator from the terminal. That's it. Now, let me, let me try something else here. Let's close that. Let's go back into it. 
And then you're going to have to get used to just doing this all the time, I guess. Just, um... Just doing it like this. So again, here's the path. You want to go to Ben. And then once you're in there, then you just launch that Anaconda Navigator Python program, Python script. And then uh, my next video, can it, once it launches, then I'll have a few more words about what happened. What, what, you know, about the, the Navigator real quick. You know, I keep, uh, I keep making this mistake. I don't know, once it, once it installs, once, once it launches, I, I keep doing a, a minimize and somehow I lose it. I need to, I'm not sure what happens to it, so I'll just keep it up. Otherwise, normally I just want to, you know, I'd, I'd want to minimize it. But, um, Essentially, what you do, you have to connect, you have to log into your account here. You can come over here in environments. You can set up your uh, your Conda virtual environments here, and then you can search here for uh, packages, Python packages, and other and and, and the, you know, all the other programs and whatnot. So you can manage your your install your install installations from here. Now you don't really, I mean, Anaconda is good. It's a good tool, but some of the stuff you can just download on your own. Like you've already got. You know Python installed on your distro, or you could use Vim to make virtual environments and and uh, install Python there. But a lot of this stuff here, like you can do, Py, you know PyCharm. You can go to JetBrains and install that separately. Same with RStudio. You could, uh, you know, you could install Jupyter Lab and and Jupyter Notebook in, in different ways as as standalones. You don't need to have Navigator. Uh, and then what are the Spider? Spider? Okay, Spider's not here. But you can go to the environments and, and uh, install Spider from there, and um, you can install Spider by itself as well. So a lot of oh here it, I'm sorry here it is here Spider here. So between the IDEs, Jupiter, Spider, PyCharm, your Python installation, and then what whatever else comes out of the box here. A lot of stuff you can just do on your own. You can piecemeal it together as a standalone. You don't have to have Navigator. It's nice though. I like it. You know, it's pretty. It seems like it's pretty easy to work with. So anyway, that's how you install it from the um, from the terminal. That's how you that's how you you know you download that shell script and, and it installs it for you. And then you then that's how you run then that's how you run the uh, the Python script to launch to launch Navigator. And then uh, I'll try to make a video and see if you know how about doing it through through the GUI. Okay, thank you.